Welcome to So You Want to Work on Campus. Today we will go over types of positions available, the different things you need to consider when you are an international student, how to prepare your application for applying to a job, and how to use Handshake to apply to a student employment position. These are the different types of positions available for Stony Brook students. Federal work study is something you must qualify for. It is offered through the federal campus-based aid program and provides employment opportunities to eligible matriculated students. The salary for a federal work study position varies depending on how much the student is granted and how many hours they will be working per week. These students may work up to 40 hours a week. Work study positions will be labeled on Handshake with FWS or work study in the job title. A student assistant is paid for from a department's state, research, or FSA account. Students in these positions may work up to 29 hours a week between all different positions. So if you have more than one job, you still must adhere to these hour restrictions. Student assistant positions are open to any Stony Brook University student regardless of financial aid package, year in school, or citizenship. A student is not eligible for employment under the Federal Work Study or Student Assistant Program unless he or she has a valid Social Security number. Graduate assistant positions are just student assistant positions that are restricted to grad students. Research assistants are hired by faculty to assist in carrying out a particular research agenda. They may work up to 20 or 29 hours depending on the department they work for. If you are an international student, it is very important for you to connect with Visa and Immigration Services before you start looking for a job. They will assist you with whatever forms you must present in order to receive work authorization. In reference to hiring international students, SBU Medical Center is not considered an on-campus department. The hospital has a different employer ID number. If the job is paid by state, research, FSA, or employed through the School of Medicine or other academic departments, that is considered on campus. Please contact Visa and Immigration Services if you are unsure if the job is considered an on-campus opportunity. To begin your job application process, start by visiting career.stonybrook.edu. In the top red toolbar, Click Students and Prepare. On the left-hand side, you will see different tabs that will help you identify important information regarding the job search process. By clicking these links, you will see instructions on how to create and develop your resume and cover letter. If you click the red lettering that says click here beneath the video, you can see resume samples by major and industry. Once you have finished creating your resume, you can call the Career Center at 632-6810 and make an appointment to have it reviewed. When you're ready to look for jobs, log into Handshake using your NetID and password. When you arrive, your screen will look like this. Click View Your Profile. You can fill this out so employers can see different information about you. This section with major, school year, and work authorization should be filled in on its own. If you think this is wrong, visit the Career Center as soon as possible. Select Jobs to see all postings at Stony Brook University. Check the box that says On-Campus Student Employment. You will want to apply to these jobs that have a green check next to them. That means you're fully qualified. You can search by division, which is also department, when you see a job you like, click the job. You can apply to any position on Handshake. However, those that have four green checks are the best fit for your qualifications. When you're ready to apply, you can hit the green button that says Apply Now. After hitting the green Apply Now button, this box will pop up. You can see which documents are required in the red circle. 
Each job will ask for different materials, so be sure to pay close attention to this. When you upload each file, be sure to label each document with the correct title, as shown here. Thanks for tuning in to So You Want to Work on Campus. If you have any questions, come visit the Career Center, located at the bottom of the zebra path.